Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. I'm Daniel Chang. Today we are going to talk about how to shoot a cinematic over the top shot alone with low budget. And before we get anything further, let's watch this clip I shot in my small shower room first. I don't feel anything. So this shot was actually made for my TikTok video and Instagram reel. I know a lot of you guys probably always wondering how to get this kind of cinematic over the top shot with low budget. So today I'm going to share with you guys how I made the video you guys just saw and I will walk you guys through the whole shooting process from start to the end. We will start from the gear I use, the lighting setup, and also some tricks you guys can utilize during the production process so that you guys can have more clear concept about how to apply the knowledge you learned from this video video to your own personal project. Now, the first thing we are going to talk about is the location we are going to shoot. And I actually shot this scene in a small shower room in my apartment. And as you guys can see, the place is actually really small. And apparently there is no space to let me put the camera on the ceiling. So in order for me to get a shot from the top, I would need to use some way to put my camera out over there, which we will talk about in just a second. And let's move on to the next section, which is the gears we are going to use for today's shoot. Now, for the camera I'm going to use for today is my Sony SMS3, which I use it for 90% for my personal project. And for the lens I'm going to use is Tamara 7028 f2.8. And there are two reasons why I choose to use the wide lenses over here. The first one is because I want to show the audience that our character is feeling really lonely and have his mental breakdown inside the shower room. So using wide angle lenses can help me make our shower room look bigger and make our character look smaller inside our frame so that it can emphasize the lonely feeling I want to represent to the audience. And the second reason is because the shower room itself is actually really small and our ceiling is not high enough for me to use the tighter lenses like 50 or 85 to get a full body shot. So that's why in here I choose to use wide angle lenses to shoot our shot. And to be more specific, I actually shoot it in 20 meters with 2.8. But if the location you shoot, the ceiling is super high and you want to get a more compact feeling for your shot, then you also can use tighter lenses to shoot your shot like 50, 85 or even 135 meters. Now move on to our next gear. Instead of using the tripod for today's shoot, today we are going to use the system to help us to achieve our shot. And for the people who don't know what the system is, system is a metal stand designed to position lights, seals, flags or even the camera on the set. And unlike the normal light stand, system actually comes with the grip on and grip mount with it. So it allows us to have more possibility to put our light or whatever the things you want to put it in different angle and position. And the idea of how we are going to utilize the system to help us to shoot our shot is we are going to make our grip on become a horizontal line and pass through the gap between the ceiling and the glass door on the top. Then we are going to mount our camera on the grip mount on our system. Now, in order for us to do that, we will need to have few tools to allow us to achieve it. The first thing is I would recommend for you guys to buy the camera cage for your camera. With the cage, you can mount your camera from four sides of your camera and can also add some accessory like monitor or the video transmitter if you want to. So that when you are shooting, you would have more options to decide how you want to put and control your camera. And the second thing you need is the baby stew to help you to fix your camera on the green mount. And how you're gonna to do this is you screw this baby stew on your cage or on your camera and lock this baby still on the grip mount so that you can lock your camera on your system's arm. And once you make sure your grip on is like a straight line and your camera face straight down to the floor, then you can adjust the height and position of the stand to get the exact frame you want for your video. Then after you're done for adjusting everything, then don't forget to put a sandbag or some weight on your system. Because like we all know, safety is the most important thing you need to care about on set, especially for your camera. So please always be aware of that. Now, some of you guys may be wondering once we put the camera on the top and how we gonna adjust your frame and press the record button for our camera. So if you are a Sony camera user like me, then here I have a tool that I want to share with you guys that can save you a lot of times for shooting over the top shot by yourself alone. And the tool we are going to talk about is an app called Monitor Plus. By using this app, not only your phone can become your monitor, but at the same time, you can also adjust the camera setting and press the record button on your phone or iPad so that you don't need to get a ladder and go upside down thousands of times while you're shooting. 
But if you are not a Sony camera user, then I would recommend for you guys to get a wireless transmitter and extra monitor so that it will be more easy for you guys to check the playback for your footage and adjust your frame without looking at the small camera monitor on the top. Now move on to the lighting equipment we use for today's video. And I use three lights to light this scene. The first light is Yongnuo YM363 Pro RGB Light 2. The second light is my After NX. And the last light is my After F22C. And to make our scene look more interesting and have more depth into it, I also use this small lens and light bulb as our particle light in our scene, which we will talk about the lighting setup in just a second. And the last gear I got for this shoot is the one quarter platform is filter to put in front of my lens to get that balloon effect for my highlight and soft look for my image. And for the people who don't know what the black promise filter is, I actually made a video to explain everything you need to know about the promise filter. And I will put the links down below, so please feel free to check it out. Now, after we introduce all the gear we use, and how do I set up the camera on the top, the next thing we are going to talk about is the lighting setup for this scene. And the first light we are going to use is the F22C that I put outside of the glass door. I change the color to blue and bounce it to the ceiling of my shower room to make it as my ambient light. And by doing that, I also can make our whole shower room get that blue and teal background. And the next light we are going to use is my After and X. I use one zip tie to fix it on my system screen on next to my camera. And the reason is because I want it to meet me the original light in the shower room and also make it as a top light for my shot but at the same time i don't want to put it on the top of our camera because it will create a shadow of our camera on the floor that we don't want then i also put one quarter ctp in front of our nx to match the blue color that our f22c create for our background and move on to the next thing we are going to do is to put our two practical lights in our scene to create some depth for our image so as you guys know, normally when we shoot our scene from the normal angle, we will try to put a practical light in the back in our scene to create depth and layer for our image and make our shot look more cinematic. But since this time we shoot our shot from the top, and there is no space we can create from our back. So I decide to put my small lens in the middle of the wall on the plastic shelf I stick on the wall. And I put my light bulb on the floor in front of my face, so that with these two practical lights, we can create two layers and more depth for our image and not only that they also help me to create a teal and orange color contrast with my blue background and because the color of these two particle light are slightly different so they can more emphasize the layer and that we created and if you compare with and without these two particle lights then you can tell how much different it made for our image but we are not done yet now in order to make our scene look more eye-catching i decided to use my rgb light tube to make it look red and did it outside from the bottom of the glass door so that the light will mainly hitting our subject and the bottom of the wall and make my whole image look more pop but there's one thing you should keep in mind the whole point for us to use this red light is to make our image pop and have more color contrast in it but not to change the whole tone for our image so the last thing you want to do is to make this red light over the shower room and make our image look completely different so finally after we finish our lighting setup the last thing we are going to do before we shoot our shot is to make sure we get all the camera setting right and here are all the camera setting information for me to shoot this shot and depending on the situation and where you guys shoot your video you can adjust the setting for your own circumstances to get the best result you can get and after the setting once we make sure our subject's focus point or the autofocus system can work properly then we can start to shoot our video so here you have it i hope after this video you have more idea about how to shoot the over the top cinematic shot with low budget even you only shoot in your apartment and don't have the fancy camera or lighting equipment as long as you you understand the concept behind it you still can create some really cool and cinematic shot for your video so i hope you guys enjoyed the video today and maybe can take something away from it and if you guys like this video please don't hesitate to click that subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up i would really want to hear from you guys experience from filming the over the top shot so please feel me to tell me what you think and comment down below i will try to reply it as soon as possible so it's a wrap for today's video. I'm Daniel Chang. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.